today? Hi, I'm very good and we are here together again to study the lesson. I was just doing it. I was studying the Sabbath school lesson and it's so interesting today. We are on Wednesday, 2nd of April and the title today is Rabbinic Law. Man, it's so interesting the lesson. Let's start it. But before we start, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this week. All the blessings that you gave to us. Thank you for the opportunity that we have to study the lesson. Please open our minds and hearts that we can learn everything that this lesson has to give to us. And please be with us. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, laws. What do you think about laws? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you think we have enough of them? Maybe we should have more of laws and rules? What do you think? You know, everywhere we go, we have uh, rules to follow. If you go in the streets, if you live with other people, if you go to church, you know, in church we have also rules to follow. And in Jesus' time, it wasn't different. It wasn't different. You know, Jesus um, was Jew, and the Jews, they had this group, and you, I'm sure you heard about them. They were the rabbis, and they loved laws very, very much. So they studied the laws very much, and they counted, in the five books of Moses, they counted 613 laws. You know, and from these laws, all these laws, the 613, 39 are related to Sabbath. And they had a really good intention. They wanted people to follow this, this law, you know, and to protect this law, to make sure that people would follow this law. They created their own legislation and they would call it the oral law, just to make sure that people would follow uh, the law. The 613 laws but you know maybe they went a bit too far because you know in Luke 14 1 to 6 we see this story about Jesus and it was Sabbath and you can read in your house or in your work I don't know where you are now but you can read it it's Luke 14 1 to 6 and it's written like this one Sabbath when Jesus went to eat in the house of a prominent Pharisee Rabbis were from this group, the Pharisees. They were scholastic people. They, they studied the laws. So Jesus was there in their house and he was being carefully watched. There in front of him was a man suffering from abnormal swelling of his body. Jesus asked the Pharisees and experts in the law, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? Jesus asked them. So verse 4, but they remained silent. So taking hold of the man, he healed him and sent him on his way. Then he asked them, if one of you has a child or an ox that falls into a well on the Sabbath day, will you not immediately put it out, pull it out? And they had nothing to say. So, you know, Jesus was a, he wasn't the first time. You can keep reading and you can read as well John 9. Those are the two scriptures that we have uh, on Wednesday. And, you know, it wasn't the first time that Jesus was in this kind of situation. You know, heal or not to heal on Sabbath. And, or do this or do not do this on Sabbath. You know, he was constantly accused of violating the sabbath law laws but if you go and it, this is one of the questions in the lesson today if you go to the old testament can you find any law saying that is forbidden to heal on sabbath this is not um, correct to do on sabbath actually we can't find this but jesus was accused of these things of breaking the rules and the point of this lesson today is about the intentions, you know, I, I would like to read this with you. Though it's easy from our perspective today to deride many of these oral laws 
and we can do this repeatedly you know like all oh, those people they were just putting more things to follow and this is not uh cool you know just follow jesus and jesus know jesus knows our your heart forget about loss so today we we are we we have this a facility we are fast to say those laws you know let's just mock them especially when they were used as they were against Jesus the fault exists more with the attitude of the leaders so I'll read again the fault exists more with the attitude of the leaders and not with these laws themselves you know the the intention, the purpose of those laws were to keep things holy, to keep things sacred and spiritual. But the attitude of those leaders um, weren't going with this purpose. So let's think about uh, our purpose, our intentions and our attitude related to, to laws. Okay? So, don't forget to go to the Health Expo tomorrow, maybe, or today, depending on what time you're watching this video. We have a Health Expo during the whole week, from 9 to 9, in the in Ring Sand Community Center. So, if you, if you want to know more information, just check out the page, Health Expo, and don't forget tomorrow to watch the video. Okay, see you tomorrow.